Hey y'all, we are out at One Source Trucks in Burkeville, Virginia, doing a demo or an additional demo video on this gorgeous uh, MedTech ambulance. The phone number to call or text is 804-928-9099. Now, if you, oh, this is not doing the way I want it to. If you guys watch my videos, then um, you might remember the other day I said, I'm gonna do a video of this, but I'm probably gonna find 200 features um, that I didn't know the truck had. And um, I think I've actually found 202. No, I'm kidding. That is obviously an exaggeration. Um, but this unit has so much, I'm gonna do another video. Um, it is raining on us, y'all. So we're gonna do this as best we can before the rain sets in too bad. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get it started up. This is a 2012 MedTech on um, an international chassis. Seven, seven six DT motor. And as you heard, started right up, just exactly like it should. Um, this unit always starts right up. There's no parasitic draw, which is always surprising on an apparatus with this many components. Uh, this is a Virginia rig. You've heard me say it before, but I'm spoiled being in Virginia. I'm a shorty. So, uh, I hope you can see that. All right, I'm gonna start with the outside on this one um, because it is starting to rain on us. Um, I think Thomas is gonna, hey Thomas, I'm trying to get his attention. Do you wanna do the dump? Do you wanna do the air dump? All right, we're gonna go ahead and show you the air dump on the suspension. works just like it's supposed to. Everything on this unit that I have tested so far has worked just like it's supposed to. I'm gonna, um, we're gonna show this um, power oxygen tank in action. I'm gonna do my best y'all. There is so much to talk about in this ambulance. You may have to watch both videos. I'm not gonna lie, the temptation to stand on that and ride it up and down, yeah, it's been there, it's been there. But that works just like it's supposed to. It's got its little hookup things, valves right back there. This is a type one, medium duty, fully functioning ambulance. Um, it is under CDL. It is 20, 1,000 GVWR, 20,000 pounds. So that is under the requirement of um, anything over 26,000. Uh, there it is. Right there. All right, look, y'all, I'm not kidding. I created a cheat sheet. These are, these are my bullet points. I'm gonna try to make sure I address all of those. I'm gonna do my best. Kind of nice it has a little handle right there so even if you're five feet tall like I am you can still open and close the compartment super nice super clean um, that is a full color backup camera, which is kind of cool. I'm going to show you the control panel of that, that you can actually um, just turn the backup camera on without the rig being in reverse, which is nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, all of these compartments open and close really easily. I don't know if you just heard that, but that was just a lovely um, little like power assist open and close. Um, so they have kind of like the soft close, which is nice. I think because the rain's coming in, I'm gonna go ahead and do the cab next. Normally I would go to the back of the apparatus and then come to the cab, but I think with the rain coming in, I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the cab. Um, this is a 2012. It has the 
DT, uh, 7.6 liter displacement international motor. You can see both of your front seats are in really good condition. Um, you have the adjustable armrest on both sides. Uh, power windows, door locks, um, storage compartments in the doors. Really nice, big, oversized uh, mirrors. Uh, I'm gonna call this like a command center. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but like I imagine this is where you would mount a um, laptop. Charging for what I imagine are radios. Um, it does have all of this. Um, it has uh, the Yelper, the sirens, the wheel and lights. It has um, your little microphone for the PA, which works. We have tested it. It's always fun to yell at the guys down the shop. Um, it's always fun. It's always fun to yell at the guys down down the hill through the PA system. Uh, this is your MedTech um, installed. They call this a multiplex electrical system and control panel so this controls all sorts of things like emergency warning systems warning messages door jar visual indicators um, additional menu screens it controls lights it controls the climate control um, the full color backup camera front and rear monitoring screens um, so this is cool I took a bunch of pictures of this um, let's see I took a bunch of pictures of this um sorry i hit that too hard so i took a bunch of pictures of this um just to show but like the ray is just in park um idling and you can see the backup screen there is a similar screen in the back that gives um different types of um messages and indicators and talks about the patient and stuff back there so they are slightly different um controls front and rear um, I went through, at one point I found like a screen that showed, oh, system faults, that's it. And you can see there's no faults detected, so everything on this rig is working just like it should. Um, it does have 147,000 miles on it. I hope you guys can see that. Um, cruise control, it shows things like the temperature display and, um, and compass to show which direction you're going. The only thing I've noticed on this, it looks like some of the air horns were taken off of these front fenders right here. Um, I am working to try to find some of those, but the standard horn in the unit does work. So you do have, you do have a horn. No rust or rot anywhere on this unit at all. Sorry, it's got some dirty footprints in there. It is an Allison automatic transmission. Um, I was going to climb up under there and get that for you before I started this video, but the rain is setting in, so I will have to add that information. So if I can just get back and just get you bird's eye view. We go. Um, this is a uh, 14 foot box, measures out actually to an actual measurement of 14 feet 2 inches. Um, your overall length is 24 and a half feet, so 24 feet 6 inches. Your overall height to the very tippy top of the box. Now, there's a little light up there that I could not reach. So, to the very top of the box, not including that little light up there, is 9 feet, which I actually expected it to be more than that. Um, your wheelbase is 169 inches per the manufacturer, which is 14 feet 1 inch. Um, and your standing height on the inside of, um, of your cab is 6 feet. Um, you can see that your grill is in great shape, your paint is in great shape. There are some little spots on the side of the box back here where, um, where we got it from when they took their decals and de-identified and stickers off of it. Um, the paint came off in a few spots. Um, I do have a painter on staff, so I can work with whoever buys this 
to um, repair that if you would like. I know sometimes people are real funny about putting paint on an apparatus. Um, so at this point I have left it the way it is, but I can work with um, any buyer if they would like to have that touched up. So this compartment right here, yeah, guys look, there's a lot. This compartment right here that rolls up, accesses to this outside compartment. So you can see that passes through. So you can access that compartment from both inside and outside of the rig. Above that, you've got um, Medicool, which are your prescription temperature control um, compartments. There is a pass-through window um, from the back of the rig to the front. Um, sorry, apologies. All right. I want to be able to show this compartment because it has the um, power inverter. All right. Now, um, there are a total of um, five seat belts back here. You have one in this chair, which is at the front of the rig, and this one actually slides forward and backwards. It has um, a little lever there, and it will slide. Um, I don't know if you saw that, but I slid it forward. It slides forward and backwards, and it has your built-in child seat, child restraint, whatever you want to call it that is built in then you've got a CPR side seat Oop, I did not lock that in that was user error on my part um, but this is your CPR side seat which is on the driver's side of this cabin so that's two um, this little area over here has three more sets of seat belts um, it's got a lower storage compartment there You've got storage under there. And then this little um, little thing right here, which I actually really like, it has a latch. So I feel like that's more secure than when I've seen ones that have um, like a pneumatic, like a little, one of those little things on it. So I feel like that's a little safer. Um, you've got two layers of padded headrest. And then three, um, sets of seat belts to go across there, and then you've got the ones that go across um, the lower section as well. So that is three, four, and five um, sets of seat belts back in this part of the rig. Um, overhead, all the way around, you have um, storage compartments. This one up here, I feel like, is where I always see gloves, like different sizes of gloves. Um, on the passenger side, you just have ones that flip down, just like this. Scrolling around to the back, um, clock. And then on the driver's side, it has much larger cabinets. And you can see that um, all of these flip up. And I think that's so that when you're um, putting your supplies, like stocking, um, you can get full-size boxes of supplies in the cabinets much easier. Um, but then when you need to just um, access them during normal use, you've got the slide windows on the front. So that makes it really easy for stocking your supplies and equipment um, and then accessing them as well. Oh, goodness. Yeah. And then you've got um, another supply cabinet there. This is um, a, a bin of sorts. Um, comes a little more. I'll be honest, I have no idea what that is, y'all. There are multiple um, 110 and 12 volt um, power sources throughout, um, throughout the rig. This um, connects to where the oxygen tank compartment is on the outside of the unit that we saw earlier. Here is your screen in the back of the unit. And this is where I was saying it had some um, 
it had some um, options that I didn't see in the front. Like it had um, some patient options that I didn't see in the front of the rig. So that was kind of cool. Um, and I noticed that depending on how you coded this out affects which lights um, work. So um, definitely um, a lot going on back here with this control center. This is probably the most sophisticated control center um, that I've ever seen. That's where it was talking about like the door open indicators. Um, it really is um, quite thorough and quite um, informative. You've got overhead lighting and um, I guess grab bars is what you'd call those. All right, I'm gonna refer to my cheat sheet, y'all. Make sure I don't forget anything back here. Um, the Betty Cool, we talked about that. The CPR side seat, we talked about that. Oh, you have your cot brackets. So while this rig does not necessarily come with a cot, um, you do get your tie down brackets, um, which I know can be really pricey. So those are included. Um, the built-in baby seat, the power inverter. Yep, um, looks like we got all the highlights. Oh, here's another one. This is, I think, a writing tablet station. That's what I've been told. I've never actually um, worked on um, a first responder unit like this, but um, I have certainly um, been in quite a few that we have bought and sold. So I think that sounds like all the things. We do have to take this in for a Virginia State Safety Inspection. When I took it in the other day, um, the company did not know how to, or, or the repair shop I took it to did not know how to work the horn. So I have to take it back in and show them that the horn does indeed work. I'm going to close this up for you. All right, y'all, I hope that I have hit um, all of the important highlights on this. I know it's a lot and I know it's overwhelming and I know asking people to watch a half an hour worth of videos um, is a lot, but we don't use these a whole lot, y'all, because I don't need the police coming fussing at me for um, playing with apparatus when they're not in service. Um, but so far, all that we've tested on the lights, sirens, and yelpers, all of that has worked um, to the best of what we can tell. So when we hit buttons, it gets loud. Uh, this is a center rear door. Um, I have had some in the past that have had offset rear doors, which from what I understand is not as desirable. This is um, a fully center rear door back here. Overall, really super nice, y'all. 2012 MedTech Ambulance uh, Type 1 medium duty on an international 4300 chassis. 147,000 miles, so tons of life left. Uh, 76 Allison, um, <laughs> y'all, 76 uh, diesel engine and Allison automatic combo um, under CDL 20,000 pound GBWR. So no special license requirements for this one. Um, aluminum wheels, tires in great shape. Oh, under undercarriage. All right. I've said it before, and I hate to brag, but. I am so lucky to work in Virginia. <laughs> Ooh, air brakes are fun. Um, where I get units that are rust free. Like we just don't get the inclement weather. I don't even think that they have pushed snow in Virginia in the past four or five years. So hopefully you can see that okay. It is a really dreary, dreary day here. So I'm gonna have to get some better pictures. Um, gosh, I can't even get this either. Um, I'm gonna have to get some better pictures of the undercarriage when it's a little bit brighter outside because it seems really dumb. Uh, but the phone number to call or text is 804-928-9099. Again, that's 804-928-9099.